Hillary Clinton supporters have started a, a new platform called Verit. No, no, guys, guys, no, that's not right. That's not right. It's Ver Vermin. Oh, that's definitely not right. Look that up in Urban Dictionary. No, no, come on, guys, come on. Let me see. Go. Ferret. No, come on, that's not even that clever. No, come on. Come here. Oh, there we go. Okay, very prop. Okay. What? We're giving them credit. We're giving them props. <laughs> so uh, it is run by Peter Dow. Um, and it is now endorsed by Hillary Clinton. And what is it? So first, Hillary uh, endorsed it a couple of days ago. She said, I'm excited to sign up for Vermit. Uh, and me, I'm sorry, Verit, a media platform for the 65.8 million. Uh, will you join me and sign up too? Well, if that's a literal question, I've got an answer for you. <laughs> and a lot of people do. They, I love 65.8 million. First of all, do you know that 20% um, of our own voters now say, uh, yeah, no, never liked her in the first place. Uh, what was I supposed to do? Donald Trump was the other candidate. <laughs> okay, so let's knock off a, you know at least 13 million off that total right now. And just because they voted when there was only two selections in reality, in practical terms, does not mean they love her. It means uh, you give me these two people, what am I gonna do? I guess I gotta vote for her. But anyway, it doesn't matter, so she supports it. It apparently uh, was around for months, but nobody noticed, it was so sad. What happened? I thought you represented 65.8 million people, Barrett. Uh, anyway, so now that the people noticed that Peter Down, who started the website, like starts putting out all these tweets. It's like, yes, finally someone noticed us, and it's only because we got the Clintons uh, to to shine their spotlight on, it, and that's only the only thing they ever have, anyways, name recognition. Okay, so Dow writes, thread, exciting news. Hillary Clinton endorses Verit, very surprising since all they do is fluffer. Uh, the media platform we're building for the 65.8 million, okay. Then he goes on to say, um, uh, Le Leela Dow and I founded uh, Verit because Hillary Clinton voters, an inspiringly diverse coalition, are unrepresented in the media. Whoa, okay, immediately, second tweet, <laughs> are you kidding me? 80% of the people on TV are Hillary Clinton voters. And Hillary Clinton supporters and bashed Bernie Sanders more than they bashed Donald Trump. What, what TV are you watching? What establishment media? Are, are you talking about the Washington Post that wrote 16 negative articles about Bernie Sanders in 24 hours? Is that the media that doesn't have Hillary Clinton representatives? Who the hell do you think is on TV? It's a wall. You can't, you barely, there's like one and a half Bernie Sanders supporters on television. And then you got the Jeffrey Lures and a couple of kooks that you have supporting Trump. Everyone else is a Hillary Clinton supporter. But they're like, oh no, we're the victims. The media just won't support Hillary Clinton. That's the only reason she won the primary. It's because the media and television was obsessed with Hillary Clinton. Oh, it's a Clinton, it's a Clinton. Oh, Bernie Sanders, socialist. Why, why, tell us why you won't be just like Venezuela or Cuba right now, okay? Every single debate moderator was a Hillary Clinton supporter. Name me one moderator that you think had a snowball's chance in hell of voting for Bernie Sanders. None of them. These people live in an alternate reality where they, Hillary, establishment Democrats, we just can't find them in the media. <laughs> Preposterous. Okay, number three. There it is necessary because we need to talk about how misogyny, sexism, and racism plague our politics and impact our elections. Now, look, if you're talking about, um, uh, Donald Trump and, and those guys, sure, fair enough. And in fact, the one uh, comment of Hillary Clinton's I supported was when she said uh, half of them are deplorable. They are, and there was no reason to back down from that comment. But he's not just talking about that. In fact, right before the show, here, let's go to graph 50, 51 now, uh, Jesus. We made a graphic about this just before we got started because it came to my attention. Uh, he's, of course, talking about the left as well. Because if you've been fighting racism and sexism for your entire life, and you are impractically in favor of African Americans and women and their rights in a way that they consider unrealistic. Somehow, somehow, you're more racist than sexist. Okay, uh, Dow tweeted apparently. To expand on my Chapo tweet, people like them and TYT make a living echoing anti Hillary themes that marginalize women and people of color, harm us all. <laughs> okay. Pete, what am I? <laughs> I don't know. I think the right wing think I'm enormously brown. <laughs> um, I know your family is originally from the Middle East, so is mine. 
Um, except yours was Christian, mine was Muslim. You want to keep playing this game? This is stupid identity politics. Uh, trust me that uh, someone who was born into a Muslim family with the name Cenk Uyghur is not considered part of the white establishment. Uh, so, and but on the other hand, our second biggest host is Anna Kasparian, who of course is sexist. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, don't you, God, you people are disgusting. You use racism and sexism, which is absolutely real from the right wing, as a shield from people who are more progressive than you. And you use it as a spear to attack people. Don't you can't say anything about Hillary Clinton. You're a sexist if you do. Some African Americans voted for it. Well, right now, Bernie Sanders is polling at above 80% with African Americans. He's not only the most popular politician in the country, he's the most popular politician for African Americans. You keep um, attacking Bernie Sanders day in and day out. I guess you must be a racist. Hey, JR, are they racist? Because I think they must be racist. Did you? I bet you better, you better not have criticized JR. Because if you disagree with a word JR says, you're a racist. You disagree with a word I say, you're a bigot, okay? Hey, anybody can play this game. And I actually don't think Peter Dower, Hillary Clinton are bigots or racist or sexist. We don't, have, we don't have to make up stuff about them. Their record stands on its own. First of all, they lost to Donald Trump. Why are you still in our lives? Go hide in a cave where you belong, okay? Second of all, your record of selling out to your donors is crystal clear. We don't have to make up things about you. Third of all, make up your mind, are we too liberal? Or are we racist and sexist? Which one is it? Oh, don't, and so the only other possibility is that you're going to agree with Trump. Oh, the most liberal people in the country are actually the racist and the sexist. Go ahead, say it, Pete. Say it, Hillary Clinton. You want to say it? You want to agree with Donald Trump? These people are monsters. Okay, <sighs> I'm not anywhere near done. Uh, here it comes. By the way, I had all this ready. The attack on TYT amuses me. It's nothing. Okay, so nice preemptive strike. Uh, let's see if that helps you. Anyway, number four, uh, Verit is necessary because if you're, quote, still with her, Jesus, God help you, you endure uh, constant harassment and bullying from the radical right and the fringe left. Wait, is there nobody representing media, uh, Hillary Clinton in the media? Or anybody opposed to her is the fringe left? Which one is it? Or has the fringe left somehow taken over all of the mainstream media? You see this? They're a victim for everything. Oh, nobody will stand up for Hillary. But Hillary represents everybody, and everybody else on the left is the fringe. Fringe losers should never be allowed in the media. Which one is it, Pete? Which one is it? You don't care. Boo hoo, I fucked up the election. Cry for me. I'm gonna blame him and him and Russia and Bernie and somebody else. And TYT and somebody, Chapa, whatever. And Charlie Chaplin. It's, it's not our fault. It is your fault. You ran the election. You lost it. You put Donald Trump into office. Okay. Favorability poll because I hear that everybody else is French, and and everybody and the country loves Hillary Clinton. There's 65.8 million people voted for her. Right now, uh, this is actually in July. Bloomberg Politics, the latest poll we have. Hillary Clinton 39 percent favorability. Donald Trump 41 percent. She's below Donald Trump. How can any politician in the country be below Donald Trump? 39 percent. Oh, what's Bernie Sanders? Over 60 percent in every poll. Number one most popular politician in the country. The one you said couldn't beat Donald Trump, the one you said shouldn't run. Uh, still with her, is she gonna run again? Oh, come on, make that mistake, make that mistake, come on, run again. That'd be awesome, and have Pete run your campaign, it'll work out great. In fact, hire every single Washington establishment sellout that was on your previous campaign, they're a bunch of geniuses. Please, please hire them again and run again, make our day. Number six, Verit is necessary because future generations deserve to know the facts about how we got here or the same injustices will be repeated. What injustice, everything's, I mean, look, they make right wing propaganda and stereotypes look true. These are special snowflakes. <laughs> you had how many billions of dollars to run this election? You had more name recognition than anyone in the world. And you still lost. You had the entire Democratic establishment behind you, and you still lost. You had every advantage there was, and you still lost. And now you're sitting here crying about injustices. You helped the DNC. Uh, look, I, we don't have to get into rigging of the elections, but did they tip the balance 
through the debates, through closing down poll stations, etc. In every way imaginable, I mean, just read the emails. Did they help make sure that Hillary Clinton won the primaries? Yes, and then you have the nerve to talk about injustices and Donna Brazil leaking questions to you guys. But there's no Hillary supporters in the media. And oh my God, all we had was injustices. Number seven, Verit is our way of declaring independence, repudiating false narratives, and telling our own story. Oh, finally, somebody telling Hillary's story. Um, eight, our plan, daily regular, rigorously verified info and analysis, weekly Dow podcast this fall, can't wait. Premium version, Oh, that's awesome, and Verit TV on YouTube. Well, look, you guys have 65.8 million people, right? So I'm sure you'll zoom right past TYT. I mean, you're crying about TYT every single day. Don't worry. Our 11 million subscribers, I'm sure you'll pass it just like that. Our 7 billion views online, it's not a problem for you guys. You've got all these wonderful people who voted for you. She's so popular. Premium version. I'm sure people can't wait to pay for what you got. Good luck with that business model, see how that turns out. All right, number nine says, growing Verit won't be simple, but with your help, we're confident it can be done. Join us and spread the word. I know all those people clamoring like, oh, if the establishment could just get back in charge, everything would be all right, where do I donate? <laughs> you wanna compete online, welcome to the jungle, okay? Can't wait to have you, <laughs> all right, so. People went on and said, okay, so what has Verit published? Because they've been around for months. Um, I'll give them credit, here's a fact I didn't know. Mosquitoes are responsible for more human deaths than any other animal on Earth, including other humans. That's a fascinating fact, am I not merciful? I just pointed that out as a kudo to Verit. Then, it, I don't know if you guys saw this quote from Donald Trump, it's so funny. Kofefe, they found out that Trump said that. Wow, groundbreaking. Couple of months late, okay, um, and then they have quotes from Hillary Clinton. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be about verifiable facts. That's why it's Verit. They have like authentication codes, so you know it's not fake news. Um, so here's a quote: What are they so afraid of? Me to some extent, because I don't die despite their best efforts. Hillary Clinton on her detractors. Uh, I hope. Oh, they, oh, good. They have an author uh, authentication code. That's a real quote. That fact is really gonna help people in America. God, man, this whole th enterprise, why don't they just sing, better man, <laughs> and just be done with it, okay. Here's one more, Bernie Sanders and the mainstream media help put Trump in the White House. <laughs> We're running a poll, by the way, uh, on uh, whether Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders is responsible for Hillary Clinton's loss, okay, tytnetwork.com slash loss. It's a great mystery, nobody's figured it out. I hope there's an authentication code for our poll once it comes out, the results come out. Uh, uh, the balls on this tweet, in Wisconsin and other key swing states, Hillary Clinton won the majority of voters who said the economy was their top concern. Oh, Please have the decency to shut up, you lost Wisconsin. And you said that Wisconsin was unlosable, you said it was part of your blue wall. And then the night, uh, the White Walkers would never get past it, and they did. And now you're talking about, well, I mean, on some of the polling issues in Wisconsin, we won. But you didn't win the actual vote in Wisconsin. That's why we have a monster in office. Please have the decency to shut the fuck up about it. Oh, But did you know that some of the people in Wisconsin actually like this? Yes, not enough of them. Okay, here's another one. So now people start to make fun of the authentication code and the so-called facts. So. You get this one. They quote, very quoted Joy Reid. I didn't see that coming. Okay. And then Enrique writes in Is this a fact verified by who? Is the whole point of this site to retweet random lib pundits? Okay. Uh, and Joy Reid, it turns out, supports Hillary Clinton. Boy, that is a surprise to me. All right, here's another one. Uh, they show <laughs> uh, this checks out. I ran this through Ferret and got my. Uh, Dow authentication code, uh, and it was a quote from this gentleman, Virgil Texas. It cannot be overstated what a gigantic fuck up Clinton's campaign was. It may have been the biggest self owned in US electoral history. Okay, but no, they have an authentication code, so it must be true. Um, and then at the very end, after all this attention, 
the website can't handle uh, the amount of people that came. Hey, God bless their hearts. So of course, what is this? It's a crime, it's an injustice. The Russian slash Bernie Sanders did it. So Dow tweets, once again, we've confirmed a denial of service attack on Verit after Hillary Clinton endorsed the platform. We'll get it back up ASAP, thanks. Now, I don't know if it was an actual DDoS attack or just they have a crappy website. They didn't expect more than 11 people to ever show up. And he, of course, has no proof of it, but he's like, it's a highly sophisticated attack by the racist sexists on the left who are aligned with the people on the right. And that's why Hillary lost. It's verified, it's got an authentication code. Okay, this is one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Luckily, this will be among the last times you hear about it, unless the idiot pundits on TV keep uh, hyping it up, because it will have no actual viewers or readers. Uh, if they do a premium service, no one will uh, partake in it. It will be an absolute disaster. Help us build independent media, become a member of the Young Turks, tytnetwork.com slash join.